Now, I'm going to be giving an update on Ignition Poker and talking about if it's a legit poker site to play on. And personally, I've been playing here for six or seven years, so it's been a while. And I typically play online poker three or four times a week. You know, I play for an hour to an hour and a half at a time. And I'll tell you what, the $200 cash games, $500 cash games are my bread and butter. And that's really all I post on the channel. And my results for Ignition Poker over the years have been really good. I'm very profitable here. And I think if you're putting in the work, you know, you're trying to improve week in, week out, and you're not letting the losses affect you, you know, emotionally or mentally, you know, I think you could go, definitely go far here. They've also got some big tournaments you could play in. I've really been pushing to play in bigger tournaments. It's just that, you know, you guys know, if you run it deep in an online poker tournament, they can last you know, eight or nine hours, depending on how big it is and whatever the payout is. So it's a, it's a time suck, you know, and you know, the weekends when you want to do it, obviously, but they've got the monthly million here now, um, which is one I've played in a couple of times. I haven't even come close to placing, but, <laughs> but Hey, it is what it is. Um, of course, uh, I am going to be breaking down some hands here in a 500 no limit session. And we actually got a double up in this one. Um, on a, a really uh, interesting spot, I guess you could say. So stick around to the end. Of course, of course, as we're getting into some of these hands on here, if you guys did want to get started on Ignition or learn more about them, we'll have some bonus and resource links directly below in the description. Definitely take advantage of those. You could also get on our poker newsletter where we send out one email a week as well. Okay, and you're going to notice I was very aggressive in this session. You know, we had a... Uh, uh, second pair on this board, and I just went for a pretty big shove on this guy, which was just, you know, I liked it. You know, I, I like mixing up my play. I'm a very aggressive player for the most part. So, you know, I do a lot of three betting, four betting, which is, you know, something that you get good at over time. And, you know, you, you do have to be uh, three betting pretty frequent, especially in these mid-state cash games, because, aggression is key obviously you don't want to overdo it all the time but you really need to like get away from playing abc poker if you're somebody who just sits back and waits for hands you you know you're never really going to be profitable long term um and that might work at like the really really low stake games but you know as you move up in stakes you are going to be playing against better people and you know you need to be bluffing you need to be three betting you need to be four betting and you need to just kind of like mix up your play um, it, it's very important, you know, and you got to realize you're not always going to win. You know, this is online poker, just like live poker, you're going to have those losing days, sometimes weeks, depending on if you can't beat the stake you're playing. But, you know, like I said, the goal here is to just like improve, have a good time doing this. Remember that it is for entertainment. Obviously, you want to make some money playing, we all do, but, you know, you're not going to win every single time, right? But fortunately for us in this one, things went well. And as far as getting paid on Ignition, as far as them being legit, you know, it's really all moved to cryptocurrency these days. Uh, if you do want to get a cash out, it's very fast. Um, you know, you're going to probably get your money in about 15 minutes or less. I mean, they're definitely always on top of it. They also have live chat where you can chat with people um, 24 hours a day. So, you know, that's another benefit. You know, the customer service is really good here. If you want to like talk to somebody about getting like a bonus through the live chat or whatever, um, there's always somebody around. Uh, of course, you could also change the color of tables, card decks. They use anonymous tables here, which I think is fine because, you know, realistically, it's actually a good thing because nobody can actually track you. And really, you're going into these sessions just trying to play really good poker, um, you know, and that's what I do. And it works. So, yes, uh, Ignition Poker is definitely legit 100%. Okay, so here we had an ace-10. We did it top pair on this board. Um, you got some flushes out there. Uh, but, you know, clearly I'm definitely going to continue betting here with top pair, with the 10 kicker. I feel good about it. And the turn card here was, uh, you know, kind of a blank. Um, not really worried about that card. I mean, now we've got two what, flush draws to go here. This guy could have something like second pair he could have an ace too i mean it's possible all right the river card was a good one because you know he didn't really do anything on the turn so it's likely that he might have a pair of eights or sevens here or he has a busted draw either way you know i got to put in a bet here 
and he called it, and he ended up having a pair of eights. I ran it on the hand read player, which you could do um, to check out, you know, hands when people are mucking, and yeah, uh, we had him beat there. Okay, this one, and I'm curious to know, guys, uh, what would you have done uh, in this King-10 spot? This was a really tricky one, and you're going to see why. Um, now, we are going to end up hitting top pair here, but we were dealing with a lot of aggression, and it was close. It was really close for me, and you're going to see, you know, why why it kind of, like, made me think a little bit. And sometimes you got to go with your gut. You know, online poker, there are online poker tells, but sometimes, you know, if you're not feeling it, maybe it's just better to fold it, muck it, whatever you want to call it, and, you know, live to fight another day. That's kind of how I was feeling in this spot. So I don't know if I made the right play here. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but I had a bad feeling. Okay, so I'm going to call this three bet. Pretty small one, 42 bucks, no problem. And we're going to end up hitting top pair. Now, I don't know if we had any flush possibilities here. We might have for runner runner cards. We'll see in a second. Okay, no, uh, no flush cards, which isn't good. Um, but the reason this hand was so tough is we hit top pair, but this guy is just pounding away at this hand, and he's going to put in a really big uh, turn bet, I want to say it was. and I, I had to, like, think about it. Okay, three on the turn, pretty non. There's just really nothing there. So that was a good card, honestly. But the bet he put here on the turn is pretty big. Uh, he puts in like a hundred and ten dollar bet. I believe that's one ten. I decided just to fold it. River card would have been an eight. It just felt like, honestly, it felt like he had ace king. Um, you know, trying to like figure it out because. He three bet us to 42, and I don't know. I don't think he's betting 100 bucks with like an ace queen right there. I, I don't, I'm not really seeing it. So, you know, I just folded it. I just felt like, I felt like there was a, a decent chance we were beat there, and I don't regret it. So, it is what it is. But, you know, the good thing is folding that hand. You know, we didn't risk a lot of money because we are going to get a double up still in this one. So, you know, it worked out anyways, you know, so it is what it is. All right, pocket nines here. Hope you guys are still sticking around because, like I said, you definitely don't want to miss this uh, this hand coming up. Okay, not exactly a great flop for pocket nines. Too bad that eight wasn't a nine, right? Anyways, we ended up taking it down with no resistance, which is always nice, especially with that kind of flop. And uh, yeah, on to the next one. Okay, so here we go. This is our money hand in this session, and I wanted to slow it down just to go over my thought process on it. Now, clearly, you know, you get a hand like pocket aces, a lot of the time, you know, you're not going to get too much action, right? But this was a hand where we got a lot of action, and I was like, this is awesome, right? So um, I'm going to just kick it up to 15 bucks, <clears throat> pretty standard, um, you know, open raise here, but we're going to get three bet. Now, I think the three bet was pretty large. I want to say it was like 50 or 60 bucks. So I had a, a, a couple things I could do. I could four bet, which I felt like was the best play to make, you know, Sometimes you can just shove and hope the guy calls, but we're pretty deep in these games, so it's a 50-50. You know, if you want to come over the top and shove, you could do that. If you want to do a four bet, you could do that as well. It's close, you know. The more money you're playing for based on these blinds, I mean, it's a little bit harder to get somebody to just call an all-in uh, shove on you unless they have ace-king, obviously, or kings, Um you know, or aces, obviously you don't want to be up against aces when you've got aces, but it does happen actually, guys, it's happened to me before. Uh, so I actually opted to do a four bet here. You know, I went for the four bet. I thought that was um, 
thought that was the right play to make here. You know, I didn't know if he was would you, would make that call, and I just felt like four betting. Uh, it's strong, but at the same time, if he's got ace king, I want him to make a call. You know, if he's got a pocket pair, uh, we'll say like pocket queens, maybe even pocket jacks, he'll definitely make the call. If he's got pocket kings, he's making the call. But I was really hoping and targeting a hand like ace king here, but you know, it, it is what it is. This was just a really sick one. So uh, get ready for this. And like I said, I thought about the sizing here. Decided to go with 140. And really, like I said, I was just hoping he would make a call here. But he came over the top, which was even better. And we are in a situation where it's going to be aces versus kings. Pretty brutal, right? Um, you know, fortunately for us, good flop. And the turn card basically sealed his fate. We hit the ace. He's drawn dead. You know, we took down a really nice pot here. And, you know, we got to double up. But... To bring this all home, this is really just an update for you guys on Ignition Poker. They're absolutely legit. I've been playing here for like six or seven years. I play here, you know, on a weekly, monthly basis, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed another session. Of course, if you want to learn more about Ignition, get started. Like I said, we'll have some bonus and resource links directly below in the description. You know, tap the like button if you haven't. Subscribe for more poker content. And we'll see you all in the next poker video.